we embody a lot of information in our action, right? And our action has developed as a consequence of imitating other people. And not only the people, the people around us, but of course the people around us imitated the people who came before them, and those people imitated the people who came before them, and so on, so far back that it's as far back as you can go. And so you embody these patterns of behavior that are extremely informative, that you don't understand, that are a consequence of collective imitation across the centuries. And so then those patterns can become manifest as figures of the imagination. And those figures of imagination are the distillations of patterns of behavior. And so, as the distillations of patterns of behavior, they have content. And it's not you, that content. It's, you could even think about it as content that's evolved, although it's culturally transmitted. It's content that's evolved. And so these figures of the imagination can reveal the structure of reality to you. And that's what happened with Jung. And that's what he described in the Red Book. And that was what permeated his psychology, a psychology that was based on the presupposition that the fundamental archetypal structures of religious belief were not pathological, not deceitful, not protective in some delusional sense against the fear of death, but quite the contrary. The very stories that enabled us to move forward as confident human beings in the face of chaos itself. And it's conceivable, I think, perhaps probable, that nothing more important, conceptually, happened in the 20th century than that. Because it was the first time, post-enlightenment, that a rapprochement between the intellect and the underlying religious archetypal substructure occurred. You have in the capacious intellect of Jung, and the same thing happened to some degree with Piaget, the religious domain and the factual domain were brought back together. And the fact of Jung's enduring and increasing popularity and influence, I would say, is a direct consequence of that.